The 64th annual Whiz Bang Days Festival kicks off today in Robbinsdale. While it celebrates the city's past and present, there are some facts about the city and its history that festival goers might miss. Here's Renee Bonneau with three things you might not know about Robbinsdale. The next time you're waiting for a table at a restaurant in downtown Robbinsdale, have someone hold your spot and go off and give yourself a tour of the history of the city. Look closely on some of the storefronts and you'll find bronze plaques like this. It talks a little bit about the businesses that were here when Robbinsdale first started. There's one plaque for the original city hall. The plaque behind me is for letting us know that a meat market has been at this location for many, many years. Um, down at the corner, there's a plaque telling us that that's where the blacksmith used to be. The plaques were donated by the Robbinsdale Historical Society. There are about 10 total, and they're not all downtown. There's a plaque at Sacred Heart Church, as well as at the site of the old Robbinsdale High School. We think it's a good opportunity for people to learn a little bit about Robbinsdale history and uh, in a casual way. Another historical nugget nestled in downtown Robbinsdale is this image from Captain Billy's Whiz Bang Journal that was published right here in Robbinsdale. The name that now embodies Robbinsdale's beloved family festival decades ago was best known for its naughty nature. For the 20s and 30s it was racy. Published by World War I vet Captain Billy Fawcett, the magazine featured stories, jokes and pictures deemed obscene for its time. We've got one story about that before the boys went down behind uh, Fawcett publication, there was a little wooden building that had some of the magazines that hadn't been distributed and were old, and they hauled them to Father Nolan's paper sale, and he took a look at that and said, I'm not having those in my paper sale, you take those back. The publication was so infamous, it even got a mention in the musical, The Music Man. Is he starting to memorize jokes? from Captain Billy's whiz bang. Friends, the idle brain is the devil's playground. Trouble! Oh, yeah, trouble. Right here in River City. Captain Billy's whiz bang has been out of publication for decades, but its legacy is ingrained in pop culture and Robbinsdale's history. A key part of the city's history can still be heard today. We were formed in 1906, so we're 106 years old. The Robbinsdale City Band is one of the longest running community bands in the state. It was started by about a dozen people, several from the Grinnell family of Robbinsdale. Today the band has about 75 members total and is broken up into a concert band and marching band. The city band's made up of all volunteers. There's no strict audition process, <laughs> but you do have to be able to carry a tune. There's a lot of pride in this group, I think, and, and people want to make it a good performing group, and so they're willing to put in whatever extra time they need to to do that. <laughs> If you want to catch a city band in concert, you could do so this Saturday as part of Whiz Bang Days. In Robbinsdale, Renee Bonneau, 12 News. The Whiz Bang Days runs through Sunday, and 12 News will be there and at all the local festivals this summer. That's right, and if you go, we want your help with our parade food drive. Here's how it works. Pick up a donation bag at the Channel 12 tent along the parade routes at Maple Grove Days, Whiz Bang Days, and Crystal Frolics. Fill it with a few items and then drop it off at Nona Rosa's in Robbinsdale, the Lookout in Maple Grove, or our studio in Brooklyn Park, or simply call us and we'll pick it up for you. Peanut butter, jelly, canned meats, potatoes, and rice are all in high demand. 